Welcome back to Weird Stuff in a Can. Today we've got Nut Luncheon, a meat-free savoury loaf made from peanuts. So yeah, Nut Luncheon. I picked this up more than a year ago and I've been intending to feature it on the channel. It's still in date, by the way. But I couldn't open it because we had a guest staying with us who has a life-threatening peanut allergy. So I had to uh, leave it on the shelf. But that guest has now moved on to their own house and now I'm able to try this delight. Let's have a look around the can. So Grano Vita since 1929, vegan approved. Looks like it's got all of the kind of seals of approval from vegan societies, vegetarian societies and so on. A delicious meat-free peanut loaf. This Grano Vita nut luncheon is made from wholesome peanuts blended to form a delicious roll, which can be used as a versatile meat replacer within meals. Our nut luncheon can be grilled or fried until lightly browned and piping hot throughout. Can also be eaten cold with a salad. Delicious recipes can be found at granovita.co.uk. Our nut luncheon is vegan suitable, gluten-free and low in sugar and is a natural source of protein. Ingredients. Water, peanuts, sea salt. That's it. So 49.1% peanuts. The rest of that is water and salt. Gluten-free, naturally palm oil-free, vegan, low sugar. Once open, keep refrigerated and use within three days. Grill or fry until lightly brown and piping hot throughout. Can also be eaten cold in a salad. That's what it says up there. Weird. So I understand that this is a kind of luncheon meat replacement. And if you're struggling with the word luncheon, it is the formal word for lunch, I believe. So luncheon meat is traditionally made with pork or chopped meats like this. And in fact, you've probably seen this. Spam is a version of luncheon meat, essentially. So anyway, this is a vegetarian, vegan substitute for meaty luncheon meat. Let's have a look and see if it's any good. Now the lid has adhered to the contents, which is interesting. Okay, well, not surprisingly, it's a pale beige coloured rubbery mass inside there. I'm surprised how resilient that is, actually. I expected it to be kind of crumbly. It smells of peanuts, but it also does smell of... It does smell a bit like canned meat. We are afforded an opportunity for a little taste, because I can scrape this bit off the lid here. Waste not, want not. And we can appreciate the texture, which is kind of luncheon meat-ish. Tasting time. Well, that's interesting. It does taste kind of a bit like luncheon meat. Not as salty, not as fatty, but that's because it hasn't got as much fat in it, I suppose. Now, apparently the way to do this is to cut both ends off the can and then try and push it out. Let's have a go at that now then. Interesting that that end of the lid, I suppose that's where all the moisture went to. Okay, I'm gonna try and push push that out of the can. Maybe if I just help it with a knife by freeing up around the edge there. Okay, and push, push. Ah, there we go. Now, okay, pant like a dog. Pant like a dog. Push. You're doing really well. Well done. There it is. Right. Well. There we go, Grano Vita Nut Luncheon. Let's see how easy it is to cut a slice of this. Hmm. And the texture is kind of rubbery and uniform, like luncheon meat, which is really surprising to me. I suppose I should probably open a tin of this to compare, but I really don't want to waste anything here. So I think we'll just uh, compare from memory. Anyway. Let's have a, a proper piece of it now, proper bite. Texture wise, it is a lot like luncheon meat, lacking those weird little bits of gristle and bone you sometimes get in luncheon meat, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It does actually taste a little bit meaty, which is really weird. And I can only attribute that to proteins being cooked in a can. The whole process of canning something and cooking it in the can when it's a high protein content must have resulted in the same kind of flavor development 
that you get with luncheon meat. It's nowhere near as meaty tasting as proper luncheon meat, but there is a faint meaty taste to it. Which is really curious. The texture is quite a lot drier and less fatty seeming than luncheon meat. I wonder if there's a nutrition breakdown on here. Oh, there is. So this is 16.5 grams of fat per 100 grams. And on a typical luncheon meat, yeah, and on a typical luncheon meat, it's 26 grams per 100 grams. So 10 grams more fat in proper luncheon meat than there is in nut luncheon. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing for it to be low fat. It does make it taste a little bit dry, but I suppose that gives us the option to add flavours that are fat based when we cook it, which is what we're going to go and do now. So this nut luncheon is quite neutral. There's nothing really wrong with that. And that does afford us the opportunity to add the flavours that we might enjoy. So I'm going to put a little pinch of smoked paprika, a little bit of ground mace, tiny little bit of ground cumin, some mixed dried herbs. That's rosemary, sage, parsley, thyme, that sort of thing. And a tiny bit of garlic powder. And because why not, we'll have about a teaspoonful of sriracha in there as well. A little splash of oil to bring that together. So essentially making a little marinade. So I'll cut a couple of nice generous slices and I'm going to make fritters out of this. I think I'll try frying one on its own and I'll try battering the other. I suppose we want a little bit of salt in this. I, it's got salt already, but I think it could probably stand a bit more. I'll just paint that on and kind of let that hopefully soak in a little bit before we cook it. Perhaps I'll just lightly score the surface to help those flavours go in there. I suspect letting this marinate overnight might be a better option. So I've got here a small batch of batter I've made from gram flour, wheat flour and water. So kind of in keeping with the whole vegan vegetarian thing, so no egg in this batter. I mixed it up in the same glass as the marinade, so it would take on a bit of the flavour from the residual spices that were in the glass. So one of these slices is going to go in there, the other one's going to go straight in the pan. Really, it would be better to have dropped these covered in batter into a deep fryer, but I don't have a deep fryer. And I'll just give those a couple of minutes on both sides. They really don't need kind of cooking, it just needs warming through and maybe a little bit of browning on there. Interestingly, there's more oil evident in the pan than there was that I put in there, so some of the peanut oil must have come out. Right, I think those are more or less done. And I'm going to serve them as a sandwich, I think. Okay, so that's the battered one. That's the non-battered one. Now, I haven't got any vegan mayo, so I'm just going to put a bit of... I'll put a tiny little bit of Greek yogurt on there. Just for some creaminess. And then we'll have a little bit of shredded lettuce. And a tiny squirt of ketchup. Right, let's go and give these a taste. I almost forgot. A bit of black pepper. Okay, right, that's the battered one, that's the plain one. Let's give the plain one a try first. So the cooking has brought out the peanut flavour. It's also softened it a lot. Surprisingly quite similar to luncheon meat. And now the battered version. Mm. It's interesting how warming it up really does bring out the peanut flavour, but not in any kind of bad way. It's actually quite tasty. Of the two, I think I'm going to say the battered one is definitely the nicer. Because I think that batter has actually locked in some of the moisture and oils. That was actually really good, quite satisfying. Quite a lot like luncheon meat, not nearly as weird as I expected. So there we go, Grano Vito Nut Luncheon. Weird stuff in a can on atomic shrimp, and maybe not that weird after all, actually. That just wasn't really as strange or weird as I feared it might be. Quite a reasonable facsimile of luncheon meat made from peanuts. I'm not sure I will stop buying luncheon meat because of this product. Luncheon meat has a lot more flavour naturally in it. However, this has a neutrality of flavour that you can spice up in any way you want. So it's got that going for it. And I suppose if you think about the kind of thing that pr probably goes into making this, 
you probably don't want to see it. Whereas this is just peanuts, water and salt. So it's a little bit less gruesome of an idea than processed meats. So that was Weird Stuff in a Can on Atomic Shrimp, Nut Luncheon from Granovita. I hope that was interesting. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.